So, and the same with the field, that would be a danger zone as well. So what we're gonna do is form up down here at the bottom in a line formation. Once Pat gives the command, rush up, tap them on the shoulders, and you'll double time, right, across. Today we're out here for our spring law enforcement in service. So our natural resources officers, they have uh, authority on all state parks, state waterways, uh, forestry property, DNAP property, scenic river properties. They're responsible for uh, law enforcement and security on those properties. So what we're doing on our spring in service this year for the last month, we've been running every officer through three days of advanced uh, training outside for an active threat. So everything we're doing is outside, similar to what you would do on an indoor active threat training. They're taking different kind of skills and applying them outside in our natural environment. Threat is down. Body armor is squared up. We're not sideways, because now we're opening those gaps that we have. Body armor is directly towards us. So we've partnered with Texas State University in their alert program to take curriculum that has been put together that has both military tactics as well as kind of modified into law enforcement tactics so that our officers, if there was an active threat in one of our facilities, would be able to employ those kind of skills that are very militaristic but adapted to the, the line of work we do. You know, we work in a, a natural environment quite frequently and, uh, you know, trying to apply skills that work outside in the woods versus inside and, you know, four walls in a hall for an active threat is, is a little bit different. The officers that have that military experience, they have a leg up. They, they kind of, uh, they've been mentoring, you know, some of our instructors and, and some of the others because they've been doing this, you know, in their military career and now kind of applying it to their, their law enforcement career. You know, we do law enforcement, but we do so much more. Thank you.